Hello everyone. Welcome to my journal. I'm Jamie. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to be opening up this big, big, big bag here um, of stuff, jewelry. Okay. So this is from Goodwill. Um, I did buy, i uh, buying a, a different way now to see if I, it's more affordable this way or because um, the big jewelry bags, they're almost, they sell for like $300 or so and they're quite expensive. So I definitely it's hard for me to um, purchase them because it's a lot of money. Now a lot of people are purchasing them and they're upping the price on the site. So I'm not, uh, I can't afford a $300 jewelry bag. So I'm doing something different now. Um, this is my fourth, I believe, or third or fourth bag that I'm showing you guys from the collection I showed you guys. I think I have one more after this and then the two boxes. So Hopefully you guys can come and watch if you do see something you like. I do my shows on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern, and everything is for sale. So if you like something, come on down and uh, hang out with us to, uh, on those days for the lives. And maybe you can pick up something that you're interested in to add to your collection. So um, I'm allowed to talk today. Jim's at the doctor's office now, so I'm going to be able to talk to the talk through the items, which is exciting. I'm excited about that. So um, yeah, let's see what we got in this package. Man, I had a hard time. I've been having a hard time sleeping because I know this stuff is waiting for me, and I'm so addicted to it. It's unbelievable. So I'm like excited to open these uh, packages up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, yeah, come visit us again on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. live. So let's see what we have in store in this bag. This one is a heavy one. It's not a two pounder or three pounder. Whoa, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna, I forgot, I gotta grab some paper towel. I will check the weight on this one and then we will go from there. Give me one second, I get a paper towel. Oh, it's the last of my paper towel. So I only have the one, but that's okay. There we go. I could always use the, um, look at the goodies in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I have my machines here and everything. They're all ready. Uh, this one is a 5.9 pound of fashion jewelry. That's what it says. I'll bring you guys down a little closer. So in case you guys want to come up closer, I do have all my machines on this side and my baggie and I have my thing on this side here ready to go. So yeah, I'm excited. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a big, big uh, bag. Yeah, wow. Look at all this goodies, beautifulness. I'll grab this one first if I can without breaking it. Oh, here we go. So you guys will probably be watching it upside down in a way. This one is okay. The chain is, it needs some help, but that's the first item here. You can see that the chain is uh, tarnished. What do you guys normally do with stuff like this anyways? Do you guys normally just put it in a, in a uh, bag for someone else to uh, create stuff with it? Like someone could probably change the chain or you can always just attach it together. Yeah, I would probably just put another chain. Like, this is still really good, but this isn't. So what do you do with stuff like this? Because I have a lot. I actually probably have about 20 bags that I could probably um, make a goodie bag with, you know, for crafting. And if someone's interested in those, I can sell them to you guys. So I'm just going to pull a corner. So all of this has been uh, basically um, probably sift through already. Cause I'm sure that's what they do now because um, as of it's been one year since I've been collecting jewelry a little over a year now and I noticed that they do um, they do sift through through their jewelry real good real real good so um, yeah I just want to let you guys know that but here look at this beautiful thing yeah I think when the jewelry when I first got it like last year there was some little bit of extras inside and all that good stuff so but it's really hard to come by with the extras now. This is a beautiful necklace. Definitely worth reselling for sure. And it's uh, ink, I-N-C. That's who it is. I'll pick out the, the gold ones first here. This is a really pretty one too. Here it is right here. Oh, I guess it goes this way. Okay, and uh, yeah, 
This is a really nice one. Definitely resellable, for sure. Really pretty. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna take a picture. Beautiful piece. So I'm gonna put the nice um, jewelry here on this side and then keep on going. Okay, and then you guys can watch. Here is, uh, oh, this is pretty. A vintage uh, bangle, vintage bangle. Does have some wear, but look at that big diamond. Cubic Sigonia probably, but it is very vintage. I put this with my bracelets, but I will check those to see if they're diamonds. So I will look at that. I doubt it. They are the probably Cubic Sigonia because, but they're placed very well. So it's made super well. So I'll put that on the side. We have these. This necklace here. Wow, those are cool. I don't know what these are. No. Oh, this is coral. Oh, this is coral. This is what that's what it is from the ocean coral. Wow, so pretty. I don't have anything like this. Very nice. Very nice. Very delicate. So we have to be careful with that one. We don't want it to break. If it did break already, we want to make sure we take care of it as much as possible. Then we have this bracelet here with shell. Yeah, there we go. And then we have this necklace here. I don't know, I don't even have a magnet here. So I can't even test it. My magnet is downstairs, but it's like a, it's a really, really vintage old um, silver-ish uh, necklace. So I'll put that on here so I'll get that tested. Okay, looks like maybe a piece, something came off a coral maybe or something maybe, not too sure. Here we have this one here. Oh, this is really pretty. We got the hematite and um, those are, they look like silver pieces, but I'm not too sure if they are. And then you have these little roses. This is a really pretty one too. So I would probably sell this with my hematite uh, collection. So it's still uh, sellable and it's very old looking. I think this is like, well, it looks old, but I don't know if it is old. Oh, okay, yeah, it does have that barrel clasp. I was trying to look to see, I thought it was magnetic. So if it was like magnetic, then I thought, okay, well maybe that is um, 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 vintage. Okay, we have a bracelet here that has um, some wire or some uh, cloth around it. I don't know if it's resellable, but yeah, that's that one here. And we've got this necklace here. Oh, this is the old one. It's a blue with this clasp right here. Oh, hang on. <laughs> this clasp right here. It's a vintage one. You know, look at how beautiful that is. That's different. Nice beads. Nice, nice beads. And take a picture. Really, really nice. Okay. I have tons of jewelry to go through. Oh, look at this one. This is neat. It's a bracelet, has something on it, has a heart. It says charm. It says charm. There's that one there. Okay. Charm. Mm. Oops. This necklace here does have some wear to it. So what do you do with stuff like this when it has wear, like I said? Let me know in the comment section. Do you save it for people who like to do arts and crafts? Because I know I have some people out there that like to do arts and crafts. Here's this little piece here. And someone took the pendant off. This one is probably the company. I noticed like, when I buy those silver kits, I get a lot of um, uh, necklaces that are detached from the uh, piece itself so yeah it's kind of sad to see because you know you hoped um, that you'd get something good this is an old um, vintage uh, long necklace it would have came with probably a a pendant for sure probably like a uh, what do you call those a, a cameo maybe or something like that but this is really cool I like the way the style is it's very vintage um, this is what, like for like a pocket watch or something like that, but these are cool and unique the way they're made. So I'll put that there. Here we have a 
a shell and a white shell and dyed blue shell and then a necklace here, same. So I'll put these together because I do have a lot. I have a, I cannot believe there's actually a lot of these. They do make a lot of these. There's a peach. I'll grab this one, a peach with a white. These ones right here, really good condition. So that's a pile right there. I have some bracelets that have a saying on it. There we go, some bracelets. They look small, but cool, nice. Okay, so we have these. Uh, and then we have this guy here. Also, they look like they're glass cylinders with a little dangle, glass cylinders, so pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Okay, sorry, I'm just watching YouTube and I'm just commenting, saying hi. So that's that one there. Okay, we have a bangle, a goldish bangle. Now we'll go with bracelets. Okay. Oh, here, we have an earring. Okay, and then we have this um, necklace here. It's still in good condition. There it is there. It has like a little um, roses, it looks like. And I would think that they would have took this out if it was real silver, but there we got that one. Pretty nice. So I'll put this on this side. I think it's still resellable. We have, wow, this is a big one here. The big pendant. Oh, wow, it's like an anchor on the bottom. I mean, yeah, on the top part. And then there's the chain. And then you have this piece here. I don't know if this is glass. Kind of looks like it's plastic, but this is a huge piece. Does need a little bit of bath. This jewelry is kind of dirty. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, we'll do this one here. It's um, one of these ones here. I'll put that in the craft. If anybody's interested in craft uh, lots, please just let me know. I got lots, I could sell them for real cheap. Probably like $10 American plus shipping. And uh, I could put everything in there for you if you're interested. And you know, it's all it would be all crap. So if you want to reuse, like basically this stuff here, or basically the stuff that I'm pulling out right now that you can see, a lot of it is um, tarnished or broken. We're hoping for some good pieces in here. Um, this is the first time I ever purchased from these people, like one of these lots. So I'm hoping that it will be a good lot. So, yeah. We'll see what happens so far so okay but i'm hoping but like this lot for instance i could put all the stuff that i don't want back in this is really pretty this is super vintage um like the stuff that you guys like the stuff that i don't want like in this bag i could just put it all back in and then continue putting adding more to it to um you know to make a, a large ziploc bag you know, one of the large ones, like this size are a little smaller than this one. Like the regular, those are the bags that I have. I could sell them for cheap. Okay, this one is tangled. I'm not gonna horse around with it. It's really, it's really nice. I love this. I love the feel of it. I love the way it's made. And it feels like it's, um, it, I feel, it feels like it's um, vintage old piece. So that will be hanging on my wall for sure. I love the colors too. Burgundy is one of my favorite colors. Burgundy is one of my favorite. Yep. So, just to let you know that, yet, guys. Um, yeah. Okay. We have this bracelet here. Again, it is um, broken right here. It looks like. Oh, yeah, it's a little broken here. So, that's that. I don't know if those are made out of anything in particular. Okay, we got some nuts going on in here. Let's see if I can 
skip it. It's the green one. I mean the green one. It's the gold one. <laughs> this is neat. I'm going to turn off my machine. Yeah, because it's probably overheating and I don't want it to get overheat. Okay, I'm just trying to take this out. Okay. This yeah, this one is definitely uh, going to be, uh, I got the earring, Let's see if I could get this gold one out, the gold one, the gold one, there we go, there it's, oh, here it is, right here, so like this, this could be crafts if someone wants it, but I think it's garbage for the most part, because it's really, really tarnished, very, very tarnished, okay, what else do we have here, I love playing, you know, keeps me occupied and I love to see the beautiful jewelry see what it looks like here's a nice one this should be resellable hopefully it's really pretty the gold is still really nice and then you can see all the little charms or little green really pretty it's really nice I like this one it's really pretty so I'm just gonna take a picture of it so you guys can see what it looks like I don't know if it has a maker's mark though I didn't check so I'm not too sure there we go. There we go. That's a resellable one. Okay. Here we have this one here. Not stuck with this one here. Oh my gosh, how did that how did that get stuck in that, eh? Let's see. Do you th I have a question. Do you think that they go through, the people that uh, go through the jewelry, do you think they're sitting like this and just going through every, they're sipping through everything? I, I wanted to know. Look at this piece here. It's already, the pendant is missing. So they probably thought this was gold and then they just threw it in. Probably not gold. But I'll put it right beside here. I'm hoping it's gold. That would be f amazing. We have this piece here, the Aztec looking one. It's in really good condition still, which is awesome. Long chain. And it does have a little, um, you know, the clasp to use for the, if you need it, you know? So, uh, starting to get nice out finally. It's been cold. Cold this year, like cold this, um, being. This one here is another one. I don't know what those are. Those could be something. Someone, it was selling for $12. Look at the way they put that in there. And it just says po pokey shell. Then I don't know what these are. I don't know if those are garnets. I don't know. I doubt it, but I'll put it with the shell stuff. No one really buys shell stuff anymore, right? It's, not, it's very hard to um, sell shells. Do you guys know any buyers out there that buy shells? We have this nice pearls. Is there two in there? Oh, there's two. Huh. Look at these ones. Those are cool. They have like glistening in them. Pretty cool. Different. Mm-hmm. That is different. Definitely different. Definitely, definitely unique. Then I have these ones here. Faux pearls but they are all tied knots They're all tied in knots so that's cool okay silver necklace here does have a tag it does have a tag i'll tell you what it says i do have my lamp on right now so i can see what it is and then i'll tell you that side doesn't say anything I've been flipping I flipped it twice already the little peg thing doesn't want to go down the right way come on come on come on oh my goodness maybe it doesn't say anything I thought it said something hang on that's three times I tried oh it does say something fourth try Wow, that is really, really tarnished. It just says something S. Something S something. Let's see if I could do it the other way. I think it was like backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. SP. SP? SP. 
Oh, man, that this one is really dirty. Like, it's super tarnished. Ring SP. I think it says Ring SP. L-I-N-D. I have no idea. But I will test it to see what it is. It's really um, dirty. But we will test it. I will test it. I will test it. Okay, this here is garbage. It does have a, a cross on it, but I don't think it's anything. Okay, okay, here is this necklace here. That's pretty, it's like wood. It's different. It has all these like charms all over it. Hmm, different. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, look how it hangs. Interesting. Orange. There you go, like that. Look at all the little pieces. That's cute. This is like almost like all like summery stuff in here. Yeah. Unique, different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just trying to find room. I'm running out of room. Have this piece here, another gold piece. It looks like to be in good condition. Okay, the chain looks good. The extension looks good. Back looks good. Is there a maker's mark? Oh, there is a maker's mark. I don't know that maker's mark though. No idea what that one is. I think it, it's an M. It's a nice piece though. I think it's sellable for sure. I'm not sure that, it looks like shell in there. The domes, that's really pretty. I think that's sellable, so I'll put it with the sellable stuff. Oh, let me take a picture actually. Sorry, I forgot about that. I wanna make sure I take a picture so in case you guys are curious what it is. Yay. Okay, so I have four pieces so far that are sellable, that are like kind of decent, and then I have all the extra little stuff like the shell stuff. Oh no, see, the, it did break. It did break. Yeah, that's what I was sad about. I didn't want to make sure that, oh wow, look at this one here. Hmm. It's like a jean jacket one. That's different. I don't know if that's real. There we go. So I'll put this one in the, well, I think it's sellable. Do you think, but did anybody wear it? I would have to cut all these little pieces off too. I think someone would wear it, right? It does have a little bit of tarnish here. Definitely unique, it's different. It's like a jean jacket. Yeah, I think it's sellable. I'll put it here. Okay, we have another sterling looking um, necklace, but I don't think it is. It does have a tag, it says NY, and again, the piece is missing off it. Yeah, and I think that's what they do. They just take everything off and then they just like um, put all the pendants together on one lot, which is, you know, cause they want to test every single thing. So I don't know, do you guys know, do they sell, look at this thing. No idea. It looks like it came off something, maybe. It's like different. Don't know what that is, so. Okay, we have this necklace set with earrings. And it has a silver necklace attached to it. There it is right there. It's fashion jewelry. There you go. It's new. Uh -huh. So I can resell it or I can gift it. I like to gift um, items to if, you know, the things that, sometimes I like to gift uh, items to people or whoever, if they're, you know, like depends on their style and stuff too. And I just, you know, it's new, maybe they're a reseller and they like to sell it back. This is cool. Don't know what it's made out of, but it's um, a nice color. Looks like it'd be for like a little boy or a girl. This one's broken. Oh no. So this would be good for crafts. There's no hang tag. They're like black diamonds. They're cold. So they could be glass. Like that alone, I would just put, I think because of the, the wire, I would put this in a lot. So if you are interested in this lot, I'm gonna put everything that I don't want in this back in this bag. And I'll add a couple more little items. These are cold. So they could be glass. I will, um, Offer it up to anyone that's interested for $10. I will put the number, the number will be 15, my favorite number. 
So this lot I'm going to be selling, and I'll show you guys the items that I'm going to put together. This, if you want to wear it like that, you can wear it like that. Okay, but I'll put this in the craft stuff. And I'll put like a, let's, I'll put like a size, um, I'll weigh it. Wow, this one is huge. I don't know where the other piece is, but I don't see the end. Wow, these are a lot of beads, a lot of beads in here. Uh, if you guys know what they are, just let me know. There it is right here. There's the end. Let me just uh, straighten it out. I think these are something. These look like this. This looks vintage. This looks like it's coral in a way to me, but I don't know. Glass beads, coral beads. I don't know exactly, but they feel like they're something special. So yeah, yeah. If you guys are interested in craft bags, let me know because I like I said I have like over twenty of them. I weigh them and I'll. Um, so basically, I will sell craft lots, and I don't know what's in it. There's going to be something in it. I don't know, like just whatever, right? It's going to be just whatever, whatever, right? So if if you're interested in a craft lot, I could sell them for, are you guys okay with paying $25 in shipping? If you guys, because I could do just under a um, four pound, maybe a four pound lot for $10 of jewelry, craft jewelry. Uh, I'll do, so if, if it's ten dollars for just like three point five pounds of jewelry, it'll be probably around twenty dollars for shipping, <clears throat> or something like that. Because I just want the jewelry to go, and you can have it for ten dollars, and then um, the shipping will be about. I think the shipping is around between seventeen and twenty dollars. I think that's the shipping. Okay, I know it's expensive, but and I know it's going to be weighing a lot. So it'll be like 3.5 pounds of jewelry. I will sell it to you guys for um, $10. $10 for, you know, just under four pounds. Okay, so then if it's under four pounds, then um, the shipping will probably be around $17 to $20. So you'll be paying like $27 total for uh, uh, just under a four pound bag jewelry of craft jewelry and there will probably be either like pieces like this that you can either resell but not too much reselling ones but there would be some if you are interested please let me know because I got lots I got like I said I have over 20 here's a nice uh, necklace here we do get a lot of these this is um, probably one of the like this I would put in the craft lot too but you can you can probably clean this up and resell it. Like, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just the chain. Just like that other one over there, too. It's just the chain. So if you are, like, if you want to buy it, let me know for sure. But it will all just be um, all crap stuff. Sorry. Okay. Sorry I went off track there. But, yes, it will be all. Um, this is a loft necklace. It's really nice. It's different. Silver tone. I think this would be a resellable one. It's different. I have never seen something like that before. So I'll put that there. We have these little guys here. I got a bunch of these. I just sold them actually. These here, these are these beads here. Could be resellable for this one. I'll put it with the the uh, shells. Okay. This, man, there's a lot of shell ones here. Shells and a lot of uh, sea ones here. A lot from the, must be close to the ocean. This is really pretty. I like the color of this one. It's really nice. It's beautiful. I like that. It's like really um, pretty, the colors. I like the colors. It's really nice. Okay. So I think I'm going to have a lot of shell stuff here. And this one looks like. Here's this one here. It's, I don't think that one's a really, really a resellable one. And these ones here, I don't know. Do you guys collect this? I have a lot of these. And I, I don't really collect. I have a I have a bunch of them, but I don't really collect them. I have. Okay. Let's see what else. Look at all the little crumbs that missed up in there. Look at this one here. This is unique. Holy man. This is like a matte black. Uh, no maker's mark, but this is a really pretty one. I like the way it's made. It's really unique. 
very pretty, different. I'm gonna take a picture. I like this one. And the chain is not that bad. So I think this would be a resellable one for sure. And there's the back of it. And it's like a little heavy. It's really pretty. And it feels nice too. It's cool, it's different. Okay, so that's a resellable one. Then we got these um, bracelets here. So I have a couple of bracelets that I can um, save. So that will be good. And then this one right here, this could be silver, but I don't think it is, no. And it's um, stretched out pretty good. Like stuff like this, I would uh, put in, you know, in the, and I don't even know if it's silver. So that's what I mean. We got this one here from Claire's, it's a choker. So uh, put that with the new stuff. Okay, look at this one. This is the one I saw. I have no idea what these are, but look how big this is. This is like super cool. Like, look at this. What is this? I wonder. Look, oh, that's huge. Huge. And it's heavy. This probably took a lot of weight. I don't know what this is made out of. It's super soft. And there's the plate. This is the pieces here. This could be sterling. I'll have to test it. I do have my tester right beside me. And I don't know if these are dyed, but wow, look how gorgeous this is very nice very very nice piece that was like one of the main things that I liked when I saw it in there those were really pretty I have to put them over there off the board this one's cool it's like a little cylinder all the way oh and it's really soft and very light I like the feeling of this one it's like little cylinders of wood I think this is cool extremely cool I like that one too. Okay, we have a bracelet here with all these little pieces of, I'm not sure what they are. They're like little plastic pieces, that's different. I haven't seen one of those. We have a enameled um, um, clamper, enamel clamper. Oh, it has a D on it, but I don't see no maker's mark, but it is resellable, right? still sell it and then we have these beads here these are cool i have another one like that black one right there same same that's cool so like these i would put these are you know i would put they're they're just a little stretched but i would put them in the lot you know because maybe someone would like to maybe you could redo it maybe it's a hair piece you know it feels like it could be a hair piece yeah and then we got this guy here wow this one's huge again it's stretched like this stuff, I would put it in the lot. Okay, so yeah, you know. Uh, here is a bracelet. I am strong, I'm worthy, I'm loved, I'm enough. Oh, that's cute, I like that. Again, I would just, um, it is new, put with the new stuff. I mean, it's probably dirty and stuff, but it's in the new, oh, look at this here. Oh my goodness, big mess. Oh wow, let's see what this one is. If I can get it undone. Let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. This is a really different one though. The colors are nice. I just wanna make sure I can get undone first. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. Yay, we got it undone. This is cool, I like the way that this one's made. And it does have like a little a clasp here. I like the colors, they're really pretty. And it's long, the beads. It's gonna, there, I'll take a picture. Those are, that's cool, it's different. I love the colors. So I think this one will be a sellable one too. Yeah, I think that will be a sellable one. So I'm gonna put it over here. It's nice, I like it. Okay. Here is a tiger's eye necklace. Really pretty. It's long too, which is great. It has that clasp right there. Really nice. I can then put this one with the sea beads and shell ones. So I'll sell it with the the um, summer ones. Necklace here has a tag, silver tone, and it's a who is it? Lia Sophia. It's a little dainty one here. And I think Leah Sophia does make 925s, but not very many. This one's a nice little delicate looking one. 
I think it'd be a resellable for sure. Okay, so I'll put that there. Then we have this one here. Let's see what this one looks like. It's a nice little dainty one. Has all these little pieces. The chain looks okay. There we go. Oh, it does have a hang tag. I will right, see what it says. Let's see what it says. Avon, Avon, ding dong, Avon's ringing. So it's an Avon necklace. It's really pretty. It does need a little bath, but the color is not that bad. I think this one would be a resellable one too. Okay. Yeah, so don't forget to come to my shows on Tuesdays and Wednesdays live on my channel, Nails Jamie B Reseller. Okay, I'm just going to move this around. These are nice. These are like moon glow. Mm -hmm, this one here. Like a moon glow. How do you know if it's artificial? There we go. I'll put it back together. There. I think these are sellables too. Oh my goodness. I like the feel of it. It's so soft. Extremely soft. Okay, I'll put that over there. Yeah. Yeah, I done work to I done work because it's Thursday now, so I'm done work for now until tomorrow. I gotta do all the invoicing, but I get to play today. I could do a live today. I think I really wanted to, but I don't know. My husband has two doctor's appointments today. So I don't know if we could do it. That's the thing. So I'll put that there. This one here is all colored. Comes with a clasp. Um, it says something, watch me. The, in the, we, okay, I can't, I don't know how to read that. So I put that together. It does have a tag. But it's missing half, so I'm not too sure. I'll put that over there. Look at this one in here. Another vintage piece. I guess these are like plastic, but I like the way it is. It's really nice. I like the way it is. Mm -hmm. I think this could be resellable. Kind of reminds me of those Anne Klein kind. So I check that one out. Put that there. We have this one here with the heart. A heart. A hold heart with some rhinestones. Yeah, yeah, I would put this one in a craft one too because it, I think that's what the color is supposed to be, but I'm not too sure. See, maybe you guys can do something with that, right? We have some necklace here with a diamond is kind of thing. The color is tarnished. See, like that, I would put, I don't know if it's silver, but I'm putting it with it, right? We have another one of these ones. I will have to check to see this one. I doubt it, but I'll put it with the other ones that I have. Okay. And let's see this one. Oh, wow. Look at this big one. That's different. <clears throat> and look how dirty my hands are. This one was a dirty bag, but that's okay. That's the fun of it, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry. Look how gorgeous this one is. It needs a little bath, but it's really, really nice. You can hear it. It's like hard plastic acrylic. And then you got these like um, ABs or something like that. It's really in really good condition. Good, not excellent. You can see a little bit of wear right here, but the chain's not that bad. Yeah, not bad. Well, there you go. Really pretty. I'm going to take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, a big one. You guys have to let me know how this lot was. What do you guys think of it? You'll have to let me know what you think of it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, I will put it this right here. Okay, then we have a bracelet. One of these ones. Oh, I think you could wear it as a necklace too. You know, I think I have a, a bunch of these. I, that's what I was wanting to do. I wanted to do a bracelet sale today. I think I could probably still do a bracelet sale. Here's this one right here. TH, new, hematite. I wonder if these things glow. Is there a hematite? I'll put that with the hematite. We got only two more things left. And then we got this earring that doesn't go with anything. And then this um, cute thing here. This is cute, different. Okay, so I'm gonna put the stuff in this bag that I'm not keeping. And then you can tell me if you want it. So I'm putting all of these in there. Okay. Putting all of these bracelets in there. All of these bracelets in there. Okay. Some of the stuff is still good, you know. I'm gonna put this necklace in there. The necklace here. This one here, I'm gonna put in. 
this one here. I'm gonna put all of these in there. All of this in there. These are this, this one here, this necklace here with shell, and then these ones here. Okay, I'm gonna put all of that inside. Okay. And I will be putting, I could put these ones in there if you guys, oh no, actually, sorry. That, I'm sorry. I could put it in there, but it's gonna be heavy. I'm not sure if you guys want heavy. I'm not, I'll put it in there, why not? And it's up to you guys if you want it or not. And then what else do I have? I think that's all I have actually. Um, oh, I have some pearls. Oh yeah, put the pearls in there, put the pearls in there. Put these pearls in there, pearls. They're still good. And I'll throw in some of these ones. These ones, I think this is cool. Uh, would you guys be interested in this one? I'll put that one in there. That one will go in there. And I'll put these ones in there. Okay. And I think that's it for this one. Okay, and then I will add more to it. And then you can decide if you want to buy it. But it's all of that and that's all crafts. I'll sell it for $10 for just under four pounds, $10 worth of craft or something jewelry like that if you are interested. So that's number 15. I'll put that down now. 15, bag 15 for $10. Plus shipping. Okay, and it will be a just under four pounds. Just uh, put four pounds here under. So then it will be probably around seventeen. I think. I think it's going to be twenty for under four pounds. I think it's 20 because it goes 11. It goes 11, 14, 17. Oh, so it will be $17. It will be a $17 ship. So it'll be a total of $27 if you're interested in a craft lot. And it'll be, I'll try not to put too much heavy stuff. Um, this one does not, this one weighs about, this weighs about maybe up just under two pounds this ways. So you'll get more. So if you're interested in bag 15, just let me know and I will, um, yeah, I will sell it to whoever claims it first. So $10 and I'll add some more stuff to it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm gonna take a picture of the stuff I have on the side here so you guys can see it. Um, hopefully I can resell some of this stuff and make my money back because I think I paid up for this one. So, let me know what you guys think of the bag. And I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you on Tuesdays and Wednesdays live here on my channel. I appreciate you guys all so very much. Y'all take care and I love you. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye y'all.